Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee and we're on my sun porch where I've got my two freezers, my upright and my deep chest one. I've got to go through these freezers. Um, I got a whole list of stuff that we got to do today. Um, I got 10 pounds of chicken in my fridge, the chicken leg quarters that were left over from this weekend. They were ultimately froze, so they thawed out. And you can refreeze them as long as you don't defrost them in a microwave. And mine defrosted in the refrigerator. So I can go ahead. I'm going to cook some of them up today. And then the legs, I'm going to cook the thighs. And the legs I'm going to um, make into freezer meals, barbecue freezer meals for your crock pot. I'm going to do that for my daughter. Um... And I've got tomatoes in this deep chest freezer that I got to get cooked down. And I'm going to cook them down in my big stock pot. And usually I cook my tomatoes overnight. But this time I'm going to take and skim some of the juice off that after they cook down a little bit. And I'm going to can that for my chilies and soups and stuff. So I don't know how many quarts I'll get out of there, but I'll get a little bit. We're going to do that. And I got a few peppers that I gathered from the garden and some odds and stuff that I got to cut up. But, you know, I never know what I'm going to add to this because I got to go through these freezers. And I know I got some freezer meals in there that need to go home with my daughter um, and sort through. I don't got to clean my freezers. I just got to sort through them and get some of the freezer meals out of there. So let's get busy. Okay, this here, this is onions. Oh my goodness. These are the tomatoes. Here. The tomatoes that I need to get in the stock pot and um, get cooking down. I've got a lot of cheese in here. I've got zucchini in here. This is, which I'll be able to do more chicken broth because this is all the scraps from this weekend. I did uh, 20 pounds of chicken this weekend. I got another 10 pounds to clean up and to bone. So I'll be able to make more chicken broth with that. I've got lots of mozzarella cheese because my husband just throws it in there. We've been doing a lot of pizzas. So I want that to set aside here. Okay. And this is cut up pork. And I think what I'm going to do with this, not, not today, but maybe in my next video, we're going to do some barbecue pulled pork. That will be good. And there's not a whole lot of stuff in here. This one is, is mostly meat and uh, cheeses and some of my vegetables are in here. I'm going to put this back down in here. Okay, I got lots of green beans in here that I have. I have lots of green beans in here. I got one, two, three, four, five quarts of green beans in here. I want to be able to put these in my upright freezer. I got another quarter of beef coming, so we're going to have to, um, I don't have freezer meals in here. We're going to have to, this will shut just for now. Just for the meantime, what is this? Oh, that I was going to give to my friend Chris when she came up. I got biscuits in here. Now I can do, I wanted to do like a chicken casserole. And uh, I could use these biscuits in that and it'll be wonderful. Okay. So I got brown rice in there because you always store your brown rice in the freezer. We can cook that up with today's uh, chicken. We're going to do some uh, baked thighs, uh, crispy baked thighs in the oven. That's what we're going to make today with some um, seasoned rice. Okay, so that one is good. I'll come and get the tomatoes in a little bit. This freezer is the one I need to get at. Look at all that. Okay, I've got to block this door open a minute. 
and I don't want the alarm to go off on me either. Okay. You, let's start at the top here. What do we got up here? These are, oh, those are my potato wedges. Okay, those are my onion rings. These are wonderful to have. Okay, these, I need to get out of here. These got to go into the market stand. These are um, the brownies. My peanut butter swirl brownies that go in my market stand. I'm going to put those on the other freezer. I keep them in the fridge in there. That way um, the critters don't get to them. Because the one day a little squirrel got into my market stand and I have my jumbo peanut butter cookies. And that little guy got one of those peanut butter cookies off the shelf. I, it was bigger than he was. I don't know how he did it. But I'm telling you, he sure did earn it. And he ran over across the street carrying that big pack of cookies. There's two cookies in there. And he was over there just to eat them. We, my neighbor and I were just roaring. It was fun. This is chocolate cake. Now this, I'm going to send home with my grandbabies. They'll absolutely love that. Let's see what we got here. This is chi oh, chicken and broccoli. Oh, you know what? Let me turn this alarm off. It will make us crazy. Hopefully that fixed it. The chicken and broccoli. These are in single servings. And this has got mushroom, cream of mushroom soup. My husband will not eat this. But my daughter and the kids will. So we're going to give them that. I got a beautiful steak up here. And I, I want to keep that because that is the hash brown casserole. This is um, cabbage rolls. These are going to go to my daughter. Now, these stay here. Those are my potato wedges. I'm going to put my onion rings right up there with them. Now that is good. Okay, I've got a friend who got hurt. And uh, she hurt her back. And I've got so many freezer meals in here. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to fix her up with, a, you know, with a few days of freezer meals. That way she can have a freezer meal for dinner and then one for lunch. This is a beautiful thing. Uh, and there's just two of them, her and her husband. So this would do them for a few different meals. And it's a chicken lasagna. So we're going to send that to her. So I'm going to set that over here. Because my daughter's going to run that over to her for me. And what do I've got here? A hash brown casserole. I'm going to give her one of those too. I think she'll love those. Because you know, you can have those dinner, lunch, breakfast. It doesn't matter. People like breakfast for dinner. And what do we got here? This is a baked spaghetti. This one is going to go to my daughter. So I'm going to leave that there on the bottom. Okay. Now these two, I'm going to set out here because those are going to go to my friend. I almost need gloves. Okay, these are steaks that I've got left over from, not left over, they, we just haven't used them all up. We don't eat steak all the time. This is more wedges, we're going to put those right there. Let's see if we can fix this. See, I like these because you just bang them and they come apart. That's why I like them. We're going to put the onion rings up here. Okay, that's good. Now, what do we got here? Oh, these are um, the separate... These are sausages, sausage patties. Those need to stay. Um, I've got green beans. There's another stick. I got stuff thrown all over in here. So, set the green beans there. I don't know what the world this one is. Oh, almost on my foot. 
Oh, this is a cheesy burger casserole. I made this last night, and I, my uh, my husband and I had some of it, and then I put it in a different container. That's going to go to my daughter, too. Okay, I've got lots of onions. i got another package of burger. Let's see. Cabbage rolls. This is another chicken lasagna meal. This is going to go to my daughter. And the cabbage rolls are going to go to my other friend. And in this one, I'm going to put the rest of my onions, too. Oh, my hands are chilly. Another package of onions. Look, I got three. These right here. Three gallon bags of onions. And I got two more gallon bags of chopped onions in my deep chest freezer. So I'm going to have enough of those for quite some time. This is salmon patties. I need this. I need to take this out because I need that in my fridge. Um, my husband asked about bagels. So we're going to take these out and put those in the fridge. This is a potato soup. These are beautiful. Um, um, oh my gosh, the herbed roasted potatoes. Perfect. I got a lot of salmon patties in here. And what in the world is this? Blueberries. You know what? We should make some blueberry muffins or something. Or I could make, make up blueberry pancakes for my grandbabies. I think that's what we might do. I might do that today. Okay, I've got two packs of hot dogs here. I just need to move this around a minute. Let me set these up here for just for now. Salmon patties. No, these are burger patties for my husband. He likes those. Now we're going to keep those there. The salmon patties. These aren't salmon patties. These are bananas. And I need to make banana bread. So I think the day we make blueberry um, pancakes, we'll do banana bread. I freeze them like that. No skin on them. They freeze beautifully. Okay. Those are going to go back in here ultimately. But I just want to sort this out to see what in the world I have in here. More salmon patties. These are all salmon patties. There's another package of cheese, but I'm not going to put that in the other freezer or in the fridge. Okay, what do we got over here? I've got, oh, this is still some of my fried chicken. I just put it in a regular gallon Ziploc bag because it doesn't last long. Now this, okay, this will knock apart real easy. These are single serving of, um, <laughs> on the tip of my tongue, single serving of sweet potatoes. We love these. So those are going to go back in there. These three containers here are potato soup. Love them. I might just send one with my friend for my, my friend who got hurt. So that looks good. And the bottom, of course, is just that down here. I know we got ice cream. Oh, you can barely see me down here, but these aren't marked, but these these are blackberries. You know what? I think we might make some jam with them. I'm going to leave those right there. Beautiful. And this, oh, this is a grill. This is chicken and veggies for the grill. Um, oh, my daughter will probably use that because we're not grilling a whole lot right now. And she does. This is chicken thigh meat. 
that I'm going to need to use up. So, we're going to put that up there. Now look, now I know. Look what you got. You got, would you get gummy bears? Yeah. Oh, want to say hi? Come here. They're, they're up here. Come here by me. Hi, friends. <laughs> and you got gummy bears. Yeah. Oh, show them what you got. Mama bought you gummy bears? Yeah. Oh, I'd go, I'd go get Mama to open them. And <coughs> here, I'll open them. There we go. Set that up there. There you go. Carry them carefully. There you go, baby. Okay, so down on the bottom here, that is a crock pot meal. We got squash, and I've got a big bag of, um, you know my, what, I might take and put that in smaller bags. I'm going to set that over here. And then I got more vegetables down here and some baked oatmeal. So we're good. We're good. This is just odds and ends in my door that I use. So we can put on that crazy alarm. We're going to be shutting it anyway. I put my hot dogs in the door. I got odds and ends in there. So, we're good. Let's shut this. And we'll head out to the kitchen and we'll get busy taking care of all this. All right, friends. We're going to do this. Um, this is 10 pounds of chicken legs and thighs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them in half and I'm going to debone the quarter so I have nothing but a thigh left. And we're going to do baked, crispy baked chicken thighs with some seasoned rice. I'm going to take the legs, and that's why I got this bag here, because I'm going to do probably all the legs in that bag with barbecue for my daughter for her um, crock pot. So we're going to get a freezer meal out of this too. These are beautiful. These are these are always these leg quarters are always on sale at my local butcher, and I love it. Okay, so now that this, we're just gonna, and you're gonna see this. I'm gonna put the leg right in there. We'll put the thighs in here. And then I can put the legs right in the refrigerator until I'm ready to put that together. There, there. Now she's got six people in her family. They'll go through all these legs. But they don't eat for dinner. You know they'll eat the next day, so. But this is so much cheaper to buy leg quarters, you know, and to bone them than to get the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Even paying, you know, I paid 99 cents a pound for these. Whereas, you know, like the boneless, skinless chicken thighs, they're going to be two something a pound. You're still saving money even paying that extra for the bone. Okay, come on, there we go. So it's a good deal still. And the other week I got these, they were on sale for 69 cents a pound. That's fantastic. I remember one year, well, well before COVID, he ran a sale on his chicken legs and thighs, 25 cents a pound. I, I think I bought, I bought well over two or well over a hundred pounds. And then I cut them all. It was a full day project, but I cut them all up and packaged them for the freezer. It was wonderful. All right, let me wash my hands and get rid of this. Okay, so, see that isn't, that's a, that's a nice amount. I'm gonna 
zip these up, put these in the fridge till we're ready to um, put that freezer meal together. We'll bring them out and I'll show you how I put that together. Now, I know that's sitting out for a second, but it's just gonna stay there for a second because I am going to make some crispy baked chicken thighs. So, we will cut all this up and I need to get a bowl for this. Keep that in the dish. I can put this back. I only got chicken on my one hand. All right. So, what I do with these is I cut that tail and all that icky off. I've showed you guys many times how I debone these. But for those of you who aren't sure, let me bring you down here and I'll show you once more. Okay, this is your quarter bone right here. And this is the section that we're gonna cut out and it'll leave us with a beautiful thigh, okay? So I just start at this little medallion here and you just start like you're filleting it almost. Get down on the other side. Peel that back because it'll reveal the joint right there. Get your knife in between that joint. And there's your quarter bone. Simple. And see, you got a thigh left. So, that's perfect. Nice, beautiful thigh. That's going to go on my pan over there. Because I'm going to make nice, crispy baked thighs. Okay. Start at that medallion. Get all that peeled away. Watch your fingers. See how that's going? You can get right down there to that joint. And just kind of pull it apart. take it right out of there see how easy that is and you're left with a real nice we're gonna trump trim that off you're left with a real nice thigh see gorgeous all right I'll do this one more time I take this extra fat and the tail and I just cut it off all at once see that and that's good to keep for your chicken broth, along with the bones. All the bones and the garbage from the chicken, nothing goes to waste. It makes beautiful broth. Just peel that back, and it'll reveal that joint. See that joint right there? Right there. See that white? That's the joint. You get in between there. And you just... There we go. I can get in between there. There we go. And there's your quarter bone. And there's your thigh. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to get these done. And then we'll be back and we'll get busy with our um, crispy baked thighs. Okay, friends. So now... I got enough of those cut up for the thighs. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do boneless. But I'm not going to do skinless. I want my skin left on here. But I'm going to show you just how easy it is to completely debone this quarter. All right, cut out the quarter piece and you got your beautiful thigh. You're gonna flip it over so the meat side is up. We're gonna trim this off. Now here's your little bone right here. You're gonna cut on each side of that bone. 
right along the edge of that bone. You're going to lift that bone up and you're just going to cut right around it. There's the bone. And there's your skinless, your boneless thigh. If you wanted to take the skin off, you can remove the skin. You want to make this a little flatter, you just take it like that, flip it around, kind of skim that a little bit, lay it out. Now you can bread it and you can fry it. So we're going to do a few of those, but I'm leaving the skin on mine. Okay, so I'll show you another one. I'll take the quarter bone out first. Just peel that away and it'll reveal that joint for you. It's right there. All right. There's your thigh. Now here's your bone. You're going to go right along the edge of it. You want a very, very sharp knife. And be careful not to cut yourself. Okay, so we got that. We're going to just go in under here. Lift that bone up. And this, sometimes you get that little piece of schmutz on there. That's it. There's your boneless. You can lay that open so it's nice and flat for you. And that makes a nice pan-fried chicken, too. All right. I only got two of these left. And we'll do this again. Just so you have another look at it. You start where that medallion is. I just kind of like I'm filleting it. Peel that back. And there is your bone. There's your joint. You get up under that joint, even if you have to move it a little bit. There's your quarter bone. Okay, there's the thigh. Flip it over so the meat's facing you. Now, you're just going to cut right along the edge of that bone. You can even go underneath that bone. See the bone right there? Lift that bone up. Peel that meat down a little ways. And there's the bone. And there's your beautiful thigh. And you can take this, not cut it off entirely, but just cut it to flatten it down. Beautiful. All right, I'll do this last one, and then we're going to get busy. I'm going to get that skin off there. Then we're going to get busy and get baking some of this chicken. my bone right down along the edge of each side of that bone and there's your bone okay that's beautiful I don't need to flatten that out because that's pretty flat the way it is all right, let me go ahead and wash my hands and we'll get busy and make our chicken and our seasoned rice. And look at all the goodies I have that I can package up in a bag and make 
broth with and it's what I've already got in the freezer that you've seen. All right, I'm not gonna touch this because my hands are clean. So this is my boneless skin or boneless chicken thighs. And we're gonna lay those in here as flat as we can. And I'm going to label that and date it, and that's going to be ready for the freezer. Boneless chicken thighs. 9.23. All right. So that's ready for the freezer. And this can go in the sink. I'm going to take a minute and get those few dishes washed. I'm going to cover that, put that in the fridge for just a minute. You don't want any chicken laying out anywhere, but I do need to bleach this area and clean everything real good. This we're going to put in a bag. We're just going to slide this in the fridge. I'm not even going to cover it up. It's not going to be in there long enough to constitute being covered in it. So, that's going to set right there just so it stays cold. This can go up here for a minute. I'm going to take this schmutz. And I wonder if my bread bag will fit around this bowl. It does. Perfect. Look at that. I didn't have to touch it. All right. I'm going to make broth again. Probably sometime this week. All right, let me go put these two in the freezer and I'll be right back. I gotta move my trays out of here. We're gonna set this to, four, not 435, clear. I'm gonna set this to 425. Start enter. Now that's gonna preheat. I'm gonna cook these right on this tray. And I'm just gonna season them up with a little garlic powder. That brings out the flavor of everything. I'm gonna use a little seasoning salt. And I'm going to be liberal on this, all the seasoning. It's beautiful. And my paprika, but I need a spoon to do that. And this is the smoked paprika. This is wonderful stuff. Okay, we got that. I'm gonna put a little pepper on these. And I'm not gonna put parsley, dried parsley on here. If, you, if you're gonna cook with parsley, you want to put the dried parsley on your uh, on your dish to cook and you know mingle in with the spices. But if you're going to use fresh parsley, you want to put that on after the fact. And that's what we're going to do. Now I know this isn't set completely, and that's okay. I'm going to put this in there anyway. But first, I almost forgot. I want a little olive oil on this. And that'll be beautiful. Okay, now this is going to go in the oven, and it won't hurt it if it's not completely preheated. That's fine. Okay, friends. 
I know this isn't on my list of things to do, but I'm gonna make some roasted veggies to go with um, our chicken and our rice. So I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit in the bottom of that pan. in there. There we go. Okay. I'm going to repackage these like I said I was going to do as well. We're going to do a little bit of garlic powder in here. And a little bit of pepper. Well, you know a lot of pepper and a little bit of salt and that's it I'm gonna put a little more olive oil on here because I don't use butter on these I just use olive oil and it's wonderful all right these are gonna go in the oven as well I gotta maneuver this around here Move the pan, but I can't. Okay, those are good. These are going to go on the other side, and those are going to roast right with it. I'm going to put these veggies in here so I can package them easier. I don't need that great big bag. Even though it's resealable, I don't need that big a bag in the freezer because. I don't always use that much. Believe it or not, John's not much of a vegetable eater. So this is usually me. And my grandbabies. They all love um, veggies too. And I'll run these out to the freezer and we'll get our Rice going. The rice isn't going to take it. Perfect. This one's got a lot of crumbs in it, so you know what I'll do with this one, I'll use it in my soups. So I'm going to keep all those little tidbits in there. And that will go nicely, I like that, with soup. Get in there. All right, we are good. Okay, now I can put these in the freezer and then get our rice going. Okay, friends. This is fairly simple. I've got jasmine rice here. I've got like, mm, where is it at? My container here that, that comes with my rice cooker. One of these full of rice to two of these full of water. I've got two rice and four water, okay? And I did rinse this rice because it's jasmine rice and I want it to be nice and fluffy. And the only way you're going to avoid sticky rice is if you rinse the starch out of it. Otherwise, the starch, when it hits that water and starts to cook, it will bloom and it will make the rice just clump together and get real sticky. So if you want fluffy rice, if you're looking for sticky rice, don't rinse it. If you want nice fluffy rice, rinse it. And that's what we did. 
All right, we're gonna put our water in here. Beautiful. Now to this, I'm just winging this. I just seasoned it up myself. I'm gonna put some garlic powder in there. I'm gonna put, oh, a little bit of cumin in there. That's good. I'm gonna put a little paprika in here, just a little bit. About a tablespoon of paprika. Okay. And I almost forgot. I don't wanna open my chicken broth, so I'm gonna use my chicken soup base. So I'll just put a nice amount of that in. You can use better than boyan too. Works just as good, but that's what we're using. And I just get this from my Mennonite store. It's just a flavored chicken soup base. All right. I need to put some olive oil in here because I don't always use the butter. I'll put a little butter in it when it's done. And I'll cut up a little fresh parsley for it. That's how easy it is to whip together some seasoned rice. This will go beautiful with the chicken. I try to break up any clumps that I have from my soup base. But I'll stir it as it goes, as it cooks. I'll be stirring it up. So I'm going to take this over here, put the lid on, plug it in, and we're good to go. Okay, friends, this is done. So I'm going to plate some of this up and show you how wonderful this turns out. This chicken turned out wonderful. We're going to give a couple of thighs here. Right there. Well, for heaven's sakes. There we go. We're going to do a little bit. Take a look. Look at how beautiful that turns out. That chicken. And you know what? I didn't put fresh parsley on there, but I could cut it up and put it on there. And it would just top it all off beautifully. So we're going to go enjoy our dinner, and I'll see you back here in a little bit. Okay, friends. Now, we have got our list here. I took care of the chicken. We cooked the, so the thighs with seasoned rice. And by the way, they were delicious. So was that rice. Um, we went through the freezer. We need to get the tomatoes in the stock pot. Stock pot and we need to do this. I'm gonna cut up those peppers a little later. You can come in. Yeah, you can walk through. I'm putting together your barbecue chicken legs. My grandbabies are here. It was Cece's first day of school today, friends. And she did wonderful, but she missed her mama. Okay, with this, I got a nice little recipe here. And I'll put the recipes that I did today in the description box, too. Did you have fun at school? Yeah. Let's say hi to our friends. Hi, friends. Hi. Tell them you had a nice day at school. I had a day at school. Oh, yeah. Did you miss Mama? Yeah. Yeah. Did you cry for Mama? Yeah. Oh. All right. So to this, we're going to add a teaspoon of paprika. A tablespoon of paprika. Excuse me. And we're going to do... Bunch of garlic in there. 
kind of got a good teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half. I don't know where they are, baby. Are they all Why are you them? Well, oh, those are yours and Gussie Boys. You can have them. We're going to do a teaspoon. It's a good thing my video is almost done. We're going to do a teaspoon of cumin, which is wonderful. Okay. And we're going to do salt. Probably a good teaspoon of salt, okay? And then pepper. I know what you want. The pepper is a good teaspoon as well. You want chocolate milk? Yeah. Okay. Let me see that. I'll get you some, some as soon as I'm done, baby. Okay? All right. So before we pour the barbecue sauce in here. <laughs> you can barely see them. We're going to mix this all up. So everything gets coated in this. Okay? Okay. We got that good and coated. Now, we're going to use this open pit. And it's uh, original. That's good stuff. I like open pit. I love Sweet Baby Ray's. But I don't want to open my great big container for it. So we're going to do open pit. We're going to put all this in here. This it calls for a couple cups. That's probably all that's in there. Let me rinse this out. With just a little bit of water so we don't waste it. You're so sweet. Pour that in there. Okay. That's good. All right, now we're going to seal this up. Make sure it's sealed up. Okay, and then we're just going to mix that barbecue sauce all in there. Put everything coated with it. Okay. And we're going to lay this flat, but we're going to lay this on a tray. And I'll use this one. Just in case it opens up on us. We don't want that to happen. It's starting to get crazy around here, friends. <laughs> Barbecue. Are you Lee, are you singing Ring Around the Rosie? Yeah. Okay, and you just put this in your crock pot, just the way it is. You don't have to add anything to it. Cook it on low for about six hours, on high for about four hours, and it'll be wonderful. And you can serve it with rice or mashed potatoes, anything you want. And it works out good. We're going to set that right there for just a minute. Okay. Actually, I can put this back in my fridge. There's not enough really to mess with in there, but I can add it when I open the other one. Okay. So now I think we're done, friends. I got the chicken and everything. I got the freezer meal. Oh, all I need to do is get the tomatoes in the stock pot. I am going to do that tomorrow. And then it'll cook all day tomorrow, and we'll go through, and I'll show you how easy it is to can up tomato juice from that. So we got everything done, as much as I'm going to do today, because I'm going to go enjoy my grandbabies. We're going to have fun. So I had fun hanging out with you guys in the kitchen today. We did a little bit. I'll put the recipes for all that we did in the description box. You all have a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, friends, thanks for watching. Bye, friends. See you next time. See you next time. <laughs>